Looking ahead to the trading week beginning July 24th, there are three events we have to look at right off the top, almost as if they were one big event. We'll call this the Central Bank Week as we get interest rate decisions from the FOMC, the ECB, and the Bank of Japan. Now, the first two are expected to raise rates by 25 basis points, and the Bank of Japan is more or less expected to just explain why they've done nothing at another interest rate meeting. Now, this is on the heels of a rally that continued in the Dow, the S&P, and the Russell, but left out the NASDAQ as it was mildly lower, and a week where interest rates rose sharply on the front end and were either unchanged or fell on the back end, which is a continuation of the previous week's trend in interest rates and also left that twos, tens inversion deeper into inversion territory. Also, earnings ramp up substantially this week with 525 companies with market caps over 500 million reporting, 483 companies with market caps over a billion, 31 with market caps over 100 billion, and one company with a market cap of over 2 trillion. Just a sampling of these big names includes Microsoft, Facebook Meta, Intel, Visa, MasterCard, Exxon, Chevron, AbbVie, AstraZeneca, Thermo Fisher, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Comcast, Texas Instruments, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, and way too many more to list. Then, of course, we have critical data next week, and it starts with Sunday night when we get Australia's July flash manufacturing and services PMI. Monday, we get the same July manufacturing and services PMI for Germany, the EU, the UK, and the US, plus the composite PMI in the US. It's also important to note these are not the ISM figures, but rather that smaller to medium-sized business reporting. Now, Tuesday, we get IFO Business Climate and the U.S. July Consumer Confidence Index from the Conference Board. Wednesday, we get U.S. Home Sales and that FOMC rate decision. Now, on Thursday, we get the ECB rate decision. And then in the U.S., we get durable goods and advanced second quarter GDP. That'll be important. And then late that night, we get that Bank of Japan rate decision. Then we finish out Friday with German inflation data and the US PCE inflation data, which matters a lot, but not as much since we just got done with an FOMC meeting.